For this lesson, we're going to cover how to go to the CryEngine portal, download the launcher, install the launcher, and then get up and running, at least with the launcher, to proceed with the next video in which you will install the engine and create a project. So as we can see on our screen, I have the CryEngine site. So if I go to cryengine.com, You're presented with the climb, as this is, one of our current videos, and you can choose to pay what you want in this click, or let's go to the go to cryengine.com. So once we go to cryengine.com, we can see that we have a whole new portal with marketplace and learning, some community stuff, but more importantly, we want to get cryengine. In order to get cryengine, we have to have a login. So let's click on get cryengine, and this brings us to the pay what you want model, which is the, do, the new business model that we're using at Crytech. So let's click on get started now. You can go ahead and select zero on the dev fund, and zero to Crytech because we're not giving any money in this case. So if we get started now, we can see that we're supposed to have an email, username, and password. We don't have either of those, so we need to register. So if I click on register now, I'm going to choose the CE test and then 1984 for my date of birth. And then I'm going to do CE test 1984 at gmail.com, which I've set up specifically for this video. I'm going to type in my password. And then finally, I'm going to type in the number as seen above. So 4746. Create my account. Now we're going to go to some account details. Considering that you may want to do some subscription, we take a little bit more information regarding where you're at. So let's go ahead and do Crytech. I'm going to type in 111 Avenue. And then we can do 111. And then I'll just do my own postal code from the United States. I'm going to choose United States. I'm going to type in my first and last name. And I'm going to agree to the license agreement. Let's go ahead and delete that since it's not right. And we'll save and continue. Press save. So it says, thank you for using CryEngine and welcome to our development community. We're glad to have you. So now we are able to download the launcher. So I'm going to click download the launcher. I'm going to download relatively quickly. And now I can go ahead and execute the launcher. So I'm going to install, and this is where I'm going to place it. Actually, let's go ahead and place it directly on the C drive. And then we'll go through the install process. And one thing I need to make sure is I need to come back to my Gmail. This is CE test 1984, and it's going to say that I need to activate my account. I'm doing this while it's installing because if I don't do it, we won't be able to log in. So I'm going to activate the account. And now we've come back, and if I log in, I can see that I have CE text 1984. And now we'll wait for the installer to finish, which it has and we click finish. By default it'll start up and your launcher will be on the screen. And let's go back in here and check out my name. So this is CE text 1984. I'm going to type in my password. I'm going to say yes, I want it to remember me. I'm going to log in. And now I've logged into my launcher. Everything works. And I'm prepared to continue on to the next video after this on how to A, download the engine itself and then create a new project and expose it inside of our folder to eventually launch the engine.